Hello folks, uh, welcome back to another Talking Women of WWE. Now, I, yeah, I was going, I meant to do a live stream for my thoughts on, well, talking, of course, the big anticipated versus match between Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, but then I was editing uh, beats, so I decided I'll just record a video and put that out and edit it. Um, but yeah, we started out with, I guess, a Asuka is going to fight Lana. She's going to give her a chance because she was impressed with her, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention much to that small segment between them back backstage. But all of a sudden, Lana is in a match with Asuka for a title match, which, why? But, again, I don't really mind Lana, so, in fact, I, I think... I believe I heard uh, Michael Cole or one of them uh, say it was um, Nia Jax that interfered in that match. So, And then I guess Lana came out to help Asuka after she was getting beat up by Nikki and uh, not uh, Nikki, Nia and Shayna. And, it was, and then it becomes a tag woman match, tag team match. And of course this back and forth with Naya and Lana and Asuka. Asuka gets on, gets the upper hand, but then uh, Lana wants to get tagged in, and then Naya pulls her off the apron, throws her around, and she decides to launch herself through the announce on the announce table. But then, of course, it doesn't break or anything. But uh, and then Shayna, for no reason, oh, because my partner's. Uh, knocked out, I guess, so I'm mad at Lana, so she's gonna choke her out between the ropes, even though she's not legally tagged in. So then Asuka takes the advantage and, uh, pins Shayna, and they win. Pointless match. Um, but yeah, it was, it was sort of alright seeing Lana go to town on Nia for a minute. Um, but, I'll, I guess this is going to happen again next week, where either Lana's going to fight Shayna or Nia and on a one-on-one -on -one match, because, yeah. So, I don't know really where I stand on it. I don't really care. <laughs> really, I don't. Um, there was a bathroom break match. Um, but, the Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Now, I will say... Granted, I usually critique Nikki the most in her matches because she was looking dynamite tonight. I don't know what it was. Um, yeah. And uh, Alexa Bliss is a t wrestling attire. I mean, I, I guess it's all right. It's just like a dress and a... Um, it's just like a dress pretty much. It's sort of like what Chucky would wear his good guy doll, except if it was a dress. Um, and she has like the Alexa Bliss logo on the front and a pink shirt. This match was all right. It wasn't really bad, but at the same time, it wasn't really entertaining. It was just all right. Because mainly Nikki beating up Alexa and she's just laughing and laughing and teasing her. And then she decides to turn on, turn off her evilness, you know, for, I knew for a fact, like, even I, for a minute, I, I started to hesitate, maybe she is uh, trying to communicate, but then, no, uh, she tricked Nikki, and then she gave her a sister Abigail, and then she got her, like, one move. But I did like the, uh, playfulness bet with, uh, Alexa. Her whole happy-go-lucky thing. Again, she's like a, a Holly, a Harley Quinn uh, type of character. Or like a, a children's uh, sh Disney show or whatever character that went off the rails. Um, but yeah, she pretty much they're, they were going back and forth out the ring for a minute. Um, not really any shining spots much. It wasn't much 
no uh, inner, no impressive, you know, ring work or anything like that. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll get another title, uh, not title, another uh, matchup next week. Maybe, although I don't see that because she beat Nikki Cross. So, you know, all's well ends well, I guess. Because I don't know what really what they'll do now. Like, what what can you? Like, is she going to have another match with Nikki Cross next week? I mean, I'm fine with it, but I want different, uh, I want something better, such as a, I don't know, no disqualifications match or something, or submission match, maybe, or hardcore Iron Man, Iron Woman match, how about that? How about we have an Iron Woman, Iron Woman match between Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross? Because people hype up Nikki Cross like she's a, a great wrestler, and she's really not to me not really she's our she's okay but and then she yeah i'm watching the match now she's fixing her hair straightening her hair which is annoying um this is going to be a short video because um it, yeah i mean again like uh alexa bliss is uh, wrestling attire for her character. I I mean I guess it's all right. It's not really. It's not really eye catching or cool or anything. I like her gloves. I like to play in the pain on the sides of it. But overall, I don't really see uh anything else interesting about it or cool so uh yeah that's my thoughts on tonight's raw for the women i hope sasha and carmella can save the week um anyway take care peace love uh till next time